Okay, Josh, I'm going to give this a shot. Um, the, the, the visual is not the best. I can't get a good shot. I had to take photographs of the, the screen, and with the camera, it doesn't, it's not very happy of taking pictures of a screen. So it looks kind of junky and terrible, but I've been trying. I can't get it that well. Anyway, let's continue on with what we're doing here. All right, this is all of my weapons that I have. Um, I have the Master Sword, as you can see right there. Uh, right now, I'm holding a Flame Sword, which, by the way, you should get because the thing is wonderful. Um, you start fires with it and what have you, and as long as you don't hit anything, if you just go over a, like a, a pile of wood, uh, it'll ignite the wood, and you put the sword away, and it stays brand new that way. So just, you know, I use that for starting fires. You can use the fire arrows, but that's what I use. Anyhow, these are all from the, uh, um, the Lynels, which they have the best weapons of anything that's up there, except for a few things, and I'll point this out. So I've got everything, I don't know, from 97 to 58. Uh, this thing is very good. This is that freeze rod that I told you about. You can get that in the castle or any one of those uh, flying things that drop them. Also, these I got all from the uh, the Lynels, and they are like 107 to 100, 300, whatever it is. Um, they're wonderful. You can't you can't go wrong with those. Okay, the next one here. Let's try this. Okay, uh, now these are the bows that I have, and again, like I said, this is my favorite. This is the Eagle bow. I love it to death because it it just shoots forever. You get three arrows, and you can buy it again for a thousand bucks. And I got tons of money. You can see over here, I got four hundred and eleven thousand dollars and change. All right. Anyway, um, and here's all the bows from the Lionels. Now they've got the five five shots, and I got a bunch of those. Uh, and then they got the three shots. I actually like the three shots better because if you look at it, this says five shots, but it's only at 32 power. This is three shots, but it's at 48, which means I can shoot at a longer distance than I can with this one. It will fall short. And of course, here's all the arrows that I have. I got 99, almost a thousand on just about everything. Um, <clears throat> I don't get a whole lot of, um, uh, ancient arrows because I hardly ever use them. I don't battle those guys hardly at all so anyway um, And here's my shields have the Highland shield of course and then all of these and again These are all Lionel shields. They're very good. They're very powerful 83 almost 90 and some of these other ones you'll see up here are 95 which means they're a little stronger than actually the Highland shield but the thing is, these are royal shields, so after about 15, 20, maybe 30 hits, your shield will break, where this won't break, and these things are really, really strong. That's the Lionel shields. Okay, next one, um, of course, this is the outfit. You know about that. Um, this is the champion's outfit, and that's the uh, soldier's greaves. And then these are the amber earrings. And you can see is everything, you put those together and you get 88 and that's that defense. That's your strongest defense of any of the outfits. All of the outfits that I've come across are all defense, no matter what it is, even the, um, the barbarian thing, whatever it is, the outfit itself is built for defense. The only one that I found that's not, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, it's this one here, the phantom um, armor. That's the only outfit that you can wear that actually gives you attack up, which means it's for offensive, not defensive. Uh, they're not very strong, um, but if you put them all on, I guess you get more of an attack up. I don't know. Okay, uh, this here, the only reason I grabbed this shot was just to put the emphasis on luminous stone. You said you wanted to get some money. That's your best bet. Uh, go down, and I, I got some screensavers and stuff I'm going to send out to you if this goes over well, this video. Um, and I can show you all the places to get luminous stones. 
like I said, luminous stones are your best bet. They're worth a bunch of money, number one. But if you get just 10 of them, you go to that guy, the fish dude, and he will give you a diamond. And that's worth a whole bunch of money right there. So your luminous stones are your best bet. Other than that, you can get, you know, more diamonds. Like I've got 566 rubies or whatever. I got more other stuff over here, 600 something of the that other stone I don't know what that is it's the most it's the most valuable stone next to a diamond anyway so let's move on to the next one okay uh, food okay this here again this one here is just one Duran and it gives you full recovery plus uh, eight hearts eight whatever um, temporary hearts if you don't have anything fold up I have everything full up except for two you're right it was only two I thought it was three okay so but just one Duran will give you this meal and anytime that I'm running low I just eat one of these things and brrr, I get it all put back in uh, again here's now this one is the the uh, enduring this is for your wheel right here uh, if you put five of those enduring ca uh, carrots together and I'll show you where those are at too you put five of those carrots together cook them up and you get all of your wheel which is all three of them plus you get two more wheels so it's like having five wheels all together which is very cool uh, and it gives you like was it 15 hearts and a whole bunch it gives you a whole bunch of stuff and it's those enduring carrots and I'll show you where those are at um mighty simmering oh this is the one uh that i was telling you about is the most powerful as far as attacking lionels or anything for that matter but lionels mostly um and this is just f putting five bananas together and cooking them and you get a whole bunch of hearts but more than that you have Right here it says Grant's high level attack power boost. It's the highest power boost attack wise that you can get. And it's good for four, uh, four minutes and 10 seconds. If you put it in with, um, well here, let me show you. Okay, the other one here, and I'll show you the recipe for that, um, is putting in your uh, bananas and the, the the uh, dragon horns and stuff and you get 30 minutes as you can see right here it's 30 minutes of the highest attack power you can get and I don't know if you know it or not but when you would you have any of these meals and stuff that's up here if you click on it, it it brings up this thing here it says you can eat it or you can find out the recipe for it or you can cancel it and because you made a mistake but it will bring up the recipe for it now let me see if I can find that yeah okay here's the recipe for it so this right here with three bananas one mighty thistle and any one of the dragon's horns doesn't matter who this one happens to be Din Rao's horn put them together and it'll give you 30 minutes of super attack power and what's the last one that I've got here? Oh, this. I don't know if you know it or not. They have, you know, they got all these different bridles. I think actually you got me this one here by shooting arrows at balloons or something or other. And there's a whole bunch of different ones here. But uh, these right here, the ancient ones, there's the ancient bridle and the ancient saddle. If you can get that, and I don't remember how I got the doggone thing, so go up online, look it up. It'll tell you how to get the ancient bridle and ancient saddle. Get that. And the reason for that is when you, a lot of times when you call a horse, you know, your horse is someplace and you went someplace else and you whistle, the horse doesn't come. You have to go to a stable to get the horse. Okay, this right here, um, no matter where you're at, doesn't matter where in the board that you're at you whistle and the horse that is wearing this uh, bridle and saddle will come to you it'll just appear just just like you turn blue and then you're appearing someplace the horse will appear blue when they come right to you instantly okay and no matter where you're at 
So that's a very cool feature that you don't have to, you know, say, oh, I need some transportation and, you know, my, I got I to gotta go all the way down to a stable to get it and bring it back and whatever. You don't have to do that. Okay, if you have the, this, uh, this bridle and saddle on your horse, um, then whenever you whistle, it'll come wherever you're at. So it's a very cool feature. And like I say, I forgot how to get it. But just go up online and put in Ancient Bridal with uh, Breath of the Wind and it'll tell you how to get the doggone thing. Anyhow, let me send this off to you and see if you can get it, if it works out for you, if it helps you. And uh, then we, I can continue on and show you how to kill Lionels, how to get the, the star bits and all sorts of different things. Okay, so let me get this off to you and then we'll uh, talk from that point. Bye.